YouTube, I am here with a review slash try on slash, slash, slash demo review on the YBF set that I picked up off of HSN. It came with a lip gloss, a neutralizing cream, a yellow neutralizing cream, an eyebrow pencil, a yellow neutralizing powder duo because one is matte and the other one has some sheen and then a blush and bronzer if you want to see how i achieve this face other than the eyes then go ahead and stay tuned and i will just tell you what i'm loving about this kit and what i don't really love but i could tell you i pretty much love this kit and if you want to see how i got this face then stay tuned <laughs> Okay, so I got this set from HSN, and I just wanted to show you, demo the how well this stuff works. So the first thing I'm going to take is this neutralizing cream, and this was a little bit defective. I'm not going to lie. So when I got it, it wouldn't roll up like it was rolled up, and it was all in the cap. So I tried to like twist it with my hand. I couldn't do it. So finally I was like, eh, and it finally twisted. So I was able to get the product up and down, but that was a little bit crazy for me. I'm just going to show you how well this stuff works. And you can see it's yellow. I don't have any concealer on. All I put on was foundation and it's very creamy. And all you need to do is just blend it out with your fingers. This may not work for fair skin girls, but the lady that, that created the YBF brand, she's fair. So, I mean, if she can use it, she may just not use as much. But I have really bad dark circles, so I'm just warming it up with my fingertips. And then I will take my beauty blender to blend it in a little bit better. But this stuff is so creamy and just totally makes those dark circles disappear. So I really enjoy this product. Actually, I really enjoy the whole YBF brand as far as the neutralizing products. Um, like I put on my Instagram. I have been searching high and low for the perfect yellow powder and I went through like four different yellow powders before I found the YBF brand and when I found the YBF brand I didn't have to search anymore. I tried the Besame yellow powder. It didn't do a darn thing for me. NYX was just too like light. It was almost white. It wasn't doing that whole brightening thing that I wanted it to do. and. What other brands? I tried like two other brands and I just couldn't find the results that I wanted to. And then when I came across the YBF brand, I was sold. So you see that I am totally brightened up just from this cream stick. I don't even need a concealer. So unless I mean I want to cover this little dark spot, but that dark spot just lives with me. It's just, it's my friend. So then it also came with this um, dual neutralizing powder. And one side is shimmery and the other side is matte. So I'm going to use the matte side to set that yellow powder underneath my eyes. And I completely forgot to turn off my fan, so you probably hear a buzz. So I'm just using the matte side to neutralize and set that neutralizing cream underneath my eyes. Okay, so I've set that. Just brightens it up. And if you feel that your skin is too yellow, my trick for anything that, say, I've just brightened up, I've used just too much of a, a white concealer, it's too light for me, I go back into my tan powder and then I just top my whole skin. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So if you feel like this is just too yellow for you, go into your powder that you're going to set your makeup with and you can see that it's taking away that yellow. So 
see the difference in the eyes. This is going to help blend in that yellow powder. If you think it's just too yellow, it's also going to set your makeup. And since I only had my cream foundation on and I'm an oily skin gal, I always have to set my makeup anyways, but just lightly setting it, it doesn't look dry. So I know you might think, well, that's a lot of powder, a lot of product underneath your eye. Does it make it look dry? No, because I'm just lightly setting it and I'm just dabbing it. I'm not putting a whole cakey amount on my face. I'm just setting the foundation and the powder and the concealer and everything to blend it all in. So then I'm going to take, I've been using this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set just to help set my makeup because it is warm here in Houston. And it is a little wet, but I just let it dry. And it also helps take away that whole cakey, powdery look. So, so the next thing I'm going to take that came in the whole kit, Automatic Eyebrow Pencil. This is just so comparable to the IT Cosmetics Universal Brow Power. I will do a swatch of each of these so you can see how similar the colors are. Both very dry formulas. So this was the IT Cosmetics one. This one right here is the IT Cosmetics one and that is the YBF. The YBF might be a little more brown, but I might have put a little more pressure on it. I don't know. Um, and then they both come with spoolie in. So that's the IT Cosmetics Brow Power. And then this is the YBF. So I like to warm it up on the back of my hand anyways because they are a little bit of a dry formula. And I feel like sometimes it pulls out, both of them actually, both brands pull out my eyebrow hairs. So I am just going to do my eyebrows really quick here on camera so you can see how easy it is to do your eyebrows with this pencil. Very fine tip so it makes it look like brush hair or it makes it look like brush hairs. It makes it look like eyebrow hairs or your actual hairs. So this is more for someone who just wants to fill in their eyebrows, who doesn't want to do like a very stark eyebrow. So there you see, I've just filled it in and I'm going to do my other eye because I look crazy. I did get my eyebrows started on uh, Saturday and I'm trying, still trying to get used to how thin they look. Okay, so those are my brows. They look a little dark. Why do they look so dark? Let's fill them. I think it's just because they're so thin. I'm just not used to them. Okay, so that was also in the kit, that eyebrow powder or the eyebrow pencil. Moving on, I want to go to this uh, blush bronzer duo here. So there is a blush and a bronzer, and I'm going to go into the bronzer part. And it's just a very light bronzer. The bronzer color is really pretty. The only thing I can say is that I don't like systems like this where you have to be like really careful with the placement of your brush or you're going to get the blush part or you're going to get the bronzer part or whatever. That's the only downside I can say. I don't, I don't care for products like this that you have to be really careful with your brush. So the bronzer is just, it, it's almost red, like can you see, it almost has like a red, you've been sunburned type look, and I like that. I like that it has a ready tone to it because it just looks like you've been sunburned and you don't look orangey. The blush is just this gorgeous color, it's so neutral and natural looking, um, oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Look at that. That is so pretty. 
Oh, like that. So. Yeah. This is a beautiful combination with the, the blush and the bronzer. I just don't like systems where you have to be really careful with your brush. Now, I still have to do eyeliner and mascara, but I um, am going to show you the lip gloss it came with. It came with this very neutral lip gloss and pink and chic lip gloss. And the formula on this lip gloss is really nice. This is a very nude lip gloss. Maybe a little too nude for me. <laughs> I don't really care for it. I'm going to have to mix it with something because um, it's just looking a little too milky for me. So that was the lip gloss, but I'm going to have to mix it with something because that was just way, way too... Uh, milky looking little tiny sample that I got in my Sephora play kit this is in later gram and talk about tiny oh and it just broke on my lip nice a little bit of this right here in the center to pump up my lips There we go. I did a good job of plumping. That darn hair don't want to go away. Okay, there's one more part of this I'm going to try out. It is the yellow neutralizing powder, but it's the shimmer. So I'm going to see what this does. Oh, it makes a really pretty highlighter, like a very subtle highlighter. You see that? Oh, yeah. So pretty. Wow. Okay, so then I'm going to go back into the blush. Cover that up a little bit. Alright, so I need to put eyeliner and mascara on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see that I went ahead and applied my eyeliner and my mascara, but this is the finished result. I really, I oh my god, I really like how my face looks right now. That highlighter or that yellow shimmery neutralizing powder just brought a really pretty sheen to my face and the blush, the bronzer duo, such gorgeous colors. I keep looking in my mirror. Sorry. My mirror is over here. Let me turn it so I can display myself on her. Okay. So just the naturalness, naturalness of how it looks is just so beautiful. And like I said, the only thing I don't like is that they are together. And I don't like it just because you have to be really careful with your brush. Like, you can't just go full ham and go, you know, you have to go. <laughs> but other than that, I really like how this is looking on my skin. And if you have not tried the neutralizing powder, you are missing out. I have it right here. Um, You can't see, but like the middle, I can already see like a ridge of a pan because I've used it so much. It's perfect just to set underneath my eyes. I have this, um, and now I have, you know, this one, but this one, I probably will put the other one away and start using this one just because I really like how that neutralizing powder, I didn't put a highlight on guys. That is that shimmery neutral, or not shimmery, but sheen like neutralizing powder. That is the effect that it gave me. So this is gorgeous. The packaging alone is gorgeous. The neutralizing cream, I didn't use a concealer. You can see that I'm brightened up underneath my eyes. I don't feel like I have dark circles. And then the YBF, uh, what do they call this? Automatic Eyebrow Pencil and Universal Taupe. It's a good product if you want some eyebrows really quickly. But if you really need to like concentrate like I do, I really need to concentrate on my eyebrows. I can't just do really quickly or I feel like I look like, you know, like an angry person, um, like angry birds or something with those eyebrows. 
I, you know, it's a good product, but it's very drying. So if you like the It Cosmetics one, this is, I mean, basically it's the same thing. Where is my It Cosmetics one? It's basically the same thing. It has the spoolie. It has the very thin wax. But these are not my favorite type of eyebrow products. I'll be honest with that. I did get this on a TSV. I paid $36. I think I paid like $36.98 or something for it. And I could just tell you that I'm just really loving how my skin looks with this blush bronzer. And I didn't contour. I just used the products from this kit. And... I'm telling you, I'm really liking how my skin is looking. So, if you have medium skin tone, this is going to be your go-to. Um, you know, this may not be available for the TSV price that I paid, but it might be still available on HSN. If not, the one product I can tell you from getting this, I know that they sell the neutralizing powder on its own. You have to pick it up. You will not regret it. It is the best yellow powder I have tried. And like I said, I tried a lot of different powders before I came to this one, found it, loved it, and have not left it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you like me, give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and talk to you guys later. Bye.